Welcome back to God in the Grass. Today, there's not gonna be much intro. I'm just gonna be showing you an audio clip where I had a conversation with a conservative MP about medical cannabis in the UK. Have a listen. So it's just the one question. Um, so me and my wife are legally prescribed medical cannabis patients who have been who have contacted you a few times in the past about my advocacy for greater access to this life-saving medicine for patients. As myself and my wife are patients, we have to pay hundreds every month so that we can have the ability to do things such as being here with you today. While I appreciate all your responses, I still feel not enough is being done to represent patients in the UK. Into the recent Home Affairs Committee on Drugs, you'll be aware that the outcome fit favoured further access to cannabis through the NHS. I believe cannabis flower could save the health service amounts, amount, 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 amounts of money as it costs more to fund more dangerous prescription drugs and it may negate need for further treatment such as expensive therapies. In funding patients' medicine, we are helping prevent them from turn, turn, turning to a dangerous and illicit market, thus damaging the illegal drugs market. Can I ask, what will you do to ensure this is what happens and help end the financial burden of having to pay vast amounts of money for life-changing medication for patients like me and my wife? I think that's uh, an excellent question. Uh, it would be helpful if you could actually uh, also yeah, I'll, I'll send it to there. us as well in an email like you have done before. Um, I, as I'm shooting from the hip here in terms of giving you a response, sometimes I can think of more things to do once I've had more time to think about it. As you can see, I'm going through different people's queries now. Uh, I can think of two things. One is checking to see if the local NHS is actually complying with the government's guidance on uh, pres you know, prescribed cannabis, because I, I am clear in my mind that the government did take a position on uh, medical, you know, can access to cannabis for medical purposes. But I'm also aware that local NHSs around the country are not deploying that guidance in the correct way and in an equal way. So you may well find that if you came under NHS, you might get a different response and treatment that you might get from NHS. And that's not right. So let me check where we are with the NHS locally in terms of for your access, because if you are legally entitled to it, you should be getting it. So let me do that. The second point is, let me find out where we are on improving further access to medical cannabis through the Home Affairs Committee, of which, as you rightly point out, I know there was a report around drugs that was fairly recent coming out of the committee. These reports, they come together over the period of a year. And I know it was evidence that was taken and a debate that was taken by the committee. So I've got some catch up to do. Uh, the report might name on it, but I wasn't a contributor to it, um, uh, uh, as obviously the members of the committee might have been. So let me see where I am with that. I don't want to give you any misinformation, because what I'm able to commit to memory is one thing, facts could be other. So let me be more precise once I've done some research. I think she'd be really happy to help us on that. It'll be the ICB, it'll be Integrated Commissioning Board. It'll be, I, I've got a meeting set up who is the, in fact, why don't you make a note of that? The Chief Executive of the Integrated Commissioning Board, and it's this board that allows, that decides what's allowable to hospitals and for people to get prescriptions for locally in the community. So it'll come under his direct remit, almost certainly. Okay, let me check. If it's not him, I know he will point me in the right direction. So I'm seeing him, when am I saying him? Is it in October? 20th of October. 20th of October. So it's a bit far away. These things take time. Um, so I'll be doing both of those things. But in the meantime, I can send an inquiry in anyway. Okay. But I know I've got a personal meeting with him. Can I? Can I just make one?
So my opinion is that the government repeatedly say they're making evidence-based decisions, but we still need more research. And, and, and I, I think you've followed similar kind of wording in, 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 in your response. It's not a field of expertise. No, I, I, so I, I understand. I'm reluctant to give. I understand you have to keep like a, a similar sort of narrative. Um, they, they, the government do this by skewing the nitpicked data from the already vast amounts of UK research. I've read the research and I've sent you that research. Okay. Every time the positive outcomes of that research are ignored, the response from the government is one that is clearly not led by data, but one that is led on ideology and donations. Really? from pharmaceutical companies that are reach, re, 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 reaping huge profits on thousands of patients that can't afford a flower that has already been to change their life, the quality of life. I, I believe it just takes a few good advocates to take hold of this issue and, I, and it could change the life of, of thousands. I believe you could be that advocate. Right. So it's critical. Definitely, I, I know. Listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm open to everything you're saying. I will definitely have a look at this. Um, it's something that is not my expertise. I, I, a million years ago, I trained as a pilot, and then I went to work in oil rigs. So I, I can speak authoritatively on those subjects. <laughs> Medical cannabis is something I need to read up on and become more of an authority by acquiring that knowledge. Um, I think key decision makers in all of this actually are GPs as well. Yeah. I think that if, 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 because they're the people who prescribe under guidance from the NHS. So if even they as individuals aren't doing it, I need, I need to test the waters on the whole ideology thing because I think the, the best so outcome to is to that. encourage the NHS to prescribe that because patients have already been prescribed it under the NHS and a patient earlier this year, not a severely epileptic child, but an adult man had his cannabis flower funded through the NHS. Yeah. So it's not, yeah. it's not something they can't do. It's something that they're, they're, they're reluctant to do because of uh, the I, I have a close friend who has a condition that creates a lot of pain. I forget what the name is. Um, fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia. And, and, and they've said very clearly, I had, I, I'm having to pay for this online. Really, this should be made available. And this is actually the government that seems to have approved it, but it's not coming through the NHS. So there's a disconnect there. So I think you're touching upon the same thing that even my friend was telling me about. So I I'm not, I'm not, this is not a, a party thing. It, I know that there's people across parties that want this. I, I'm, 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 I, I don't give a monkeys about the political thing here. For me, it's about patient outcomes, and that's what I care about. All right. Okay. Okay. Well, this is not a political thing. Right. Well, Follow it on the ICB. Follow it. Did you put an email address on the authorisation? Yes. So what I can do, I can drop you an email back later on, and we've heard back. You'll probably hear back from your. Well, if I move on because I've got people's Well done. Well done. So that's all there is today, guys. I'm going to give a response in the future. If you have any opinions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. But for now, remember, love yourselves, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.